Welcome to Inspirations by Ense. Now let me ask you a question. Have you ever found yourself in a situation that was maybe chaotic or you reacted in a way that in hindsight, you wish you had taken some time to calm down, think and proceed with caution? I'm pretty sure this has happened to every one of us at one point or the other where you did something, you responded or reacted in a way that you later on regretted. Now listen to the end of this video. This is going to be really good for you because I'm going to share with you five ways that you can stay calm even in the midst of chaos. My name is Sensei and I am a transformational life coach and the creator of the Trauma Repair Coaching. Welcome to our community today. Take a second, introduce yourself in the comment section. Let us know where you're joining us from. We always, always want to know those who are in our community every single week. Now, what do you do when you find yourself in a state of chaos, a chaotic situation? How do you stay calm? The very first thing, which is usually the simplest thing and the things that most people don't think of doing is one, using your breath, deep breathing, where you start by taking five deep breaths. You know, you inhale to the count of five, And on the exhale, you exhale a little bit longer to the count of eight. That would immediately, your body begins to relax and relieved of that unnecessary tension and stress. When you take a moment to breathe, not only do you calm yourself down, you're able to begin to do the second thing, which is to observe, witness what is happening rather than reacting immediately. When you sit in the witness seat, you're able to just detach yourself from the chaos and observe what is actually going on from an outside perspective. You're witnessing, even though you are in the middle of the situation, but you're witnessing. Remember, you are not your thoughts. You are the thinker of your thoughts. Who is observing that situation? When you do that, you're able to ground yourself Whoever has the strongest grounding in that situation is the one who wins. Now, the third thing is to slow down. It's easy to flip and respond, but when you slow things down, starting with your breath, remember, the first thing was your breath. Start to slow down your breathing to be able to cause your body to relax in that situation. You are able to So now slow down your thoughts and slow down your words. When you speak slowly, everyone (laughs) begins to slow down too. I encourage you to try this out. Come back and let me know how this works for you. Because it's not who makes the loudest noise. It's not who is more agitated that wins in the situation. It's who is more grounded that has the power in that situation. The next thing is to smile really i know you're you're probably thinking i'm in the middle of a chaos what's there to smile about but when you smile you trick your body to thinking that everything is fine that way it's relaxed and you now take charge and you can proceed with caution and the last and final thing is practicing patience be patient you may not be able to Uh, understand the whole situation but the patient person is powerful because you are able to respond to that situation in a way that you choose not being egged on by other people not being rattled on and and stirred up by other people to do the wrong thing you're patiently and you're able to respond rather than react immediately and later regret i like to know what resonated with you from what we talked about today and what tips and tricks have you used in your life to stay calm even in the midst of chaos if you like this video go ahead and give us a thumbs up like and subscribe to this channel i encourage you to share this content with someone who you know would be blessed of it because the more people see the content The more YouTube shows it to more people and the more people are able to be changed by this information. As usual, I am committed to bringing you quality content three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, 
and Fridays. Until we see again is goodbye and God bless.